What is the difference in all of these different models of the Ochang UV9X series? There's a UV9 Delta, UV9 Delta Mate, UV9 Papa, UV9 Tango. What's the difference in them all? Well, we're going to talk about that today, upcoming on this video. Shut up and sit down. Thank you for joining the channel today. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. On this video series, we do reviews, news, and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio. So if that's something that should interest you, consider subscribing below. So I get a lot of questions about these UV, these Oshang models, which I've been fairly fond of. I've done some reviews on several diff different models. I've featured this UV9 Delta Mate, which is this guy right here, in several different videos lately. That's the 10 watt version. We put it on the power meter. We got between nine and a, nine and nine and a half watts out of the radio on a power meter which is pretty darn close. And someone made a comment one time said, hey, if you charge the battery to, to full charge, was, will it do 10 watts? And the battery is pretty close to full charge when I had it on there. So I don't really think it makes a difference. But quality control in China is kind of hit or miss. So it's possible that you could have something that, that gets closer to 10 watts. But whichever the case may be, at the time of this recording, there's a UD9 Delta and there's a UD9 Tango, UD9 Papa, UD9 Delta Mate, which is this guy right here. There's a UD9 Delta Plus, and there's a UD9 Delta Kilo, which is this guy right here. This one, I've done a, I've done a video on this one. I'll link that up at the top uh, right corner of your screen right now. Uh, so the there's also this and this i just threw this in there because it looked the same the uv8 series the uv8 delta and the uv8 echo the uv8 delta is a dual band uh large color display with uh um 999 memory channels and the the plus models that are being sold at buy two-way radios.com right now come with a 2600 milliamp hour battery which as i've said in previous videos will last four or five days by just turning it on, sitting it on the desk and monitoring a local repeater or monitoring simplex, if you will. Um, but the, the, the main difference between the eight, the UV eight series and the UV nine series is that the UV eight series is just dual band. It's two meters and 440 and that's all. The UV nine series consists of dual band, two meter 440 for transmit, but five, seven, maybe sometimes nine different bands for receive on top of just the standard two meter 440 for amateur radio. So let's take a look at these comparisons today. The original UV9 Delta, and all of them basically look the same too, uh, except for a couple of minor differences. I'm going to find some pictures of these and overlay them because I don't have them all in my possession. The original UVD9 Delta does not have the, the ability to function as a crossband repeater. Uh, several of these other models later on have the ability to, to function as a crossband repeater. So that's so the original UV9D, if you have one from way back in the day, which I actually did a video on that one too, and I'll post that up here. Um, that was two or three years. That was an old video there. But it doesn't have the, the function to, to uh, it doesn't have the ability to function as a crossband repeater as some of these other ones have. The UV9 Tango, UV9 Papa, and UV9D Mate, which is this one right here, um, they are all 10-watt radios, and the main difference between these guys, again, the, that's the Tango, the Papa, and the D Mate, is just how they look. They're just different aesthetics, different looking radios internally. They seem to all be the same radio. Uh, they all do have the function, the ability to function as a crossband repeater. The UV9D Plus, if you have a later model, the UV9D Plus, they added the repeater function, the crossband repeater function, but it's only a 5-watt radio. It's still a 5-watt radio. The original UV9D was a 5-watt radio. The 9D Plus is also a 5-watt radio, but they added the function to be a crossband repeater to the UV9D Plus. So that's the difference there. I'm not even sure at the time of this recording if they make the original UV9D, but the one I linked up there a moment ago is the original UV9D. It was basically a UV8D with like a 7-band receive on top of it. Still a 5-watt dual-band radio. Hey guys, if you're finding value in this video, I would request that you hit that thumbs up button for me because it does help with the YouTube algorithm. 
Let's get back to it. And then the UV9K, which is this guy right here, is also a dual band radio with uh, seven band, seven or nine band receive. I forget which one, but it will do the 8.33 kilohertz steps for the air band receive. So most of them won't receive air band. Air band's on, a, on kind of a weird um, subset uh, being at 8.33 kilohertz uh, channel spacings. This radio will receive air band on the AM band and it will jump to those 8.33 channel spacings so that's the uv9 kilo is that one right there and again i've did a, i did a video on this uh specific model and i'll link that up there at the time of this recording there are a couple of new models outcoming which is a uv8 hotel which looks really good it's kind of got a, a different look to it than the original UV-8 series do. Again, uh, I, I mean, I started to say earlier, there's a UV-8 Delta, which is a great radio, dual band only, um, 999 memory channels, a great 2600 milliamp hour battery if you buy it from buy2wayradios.com. But they made a UV-8 Echo shortly after that one, and I thought the UV-8 Echo was a dud. I didn't like the UV-8 Echo. The main difference was the UV-8 Echo added 220 to the mix, so it's a tri-band radio. So you would think I would like it, but I found it had a lot of birdies in it when you would scan through the two-meter band, and and then, it well, when you'd have it on a two-meter receive frequency and then key up 220, it would make a buzzing noise in the two-meter band, or vice versa. If you keyed up two meters, it'd make a buzzing noise in the 220 band, or maybe between 220 and 440, they didn't seem to have their harmonics set correctly. There was something in the programming, something in the way it's put together. I don't know, but it seemed to interfere. It seemed to have what a lot of what's called inner mod. It would interfere with itself. And when you key up on one band, it would often make noise on the 220 band, or when you key up on the 220 band and make noise on one of the other bands. So it wasn't a very good implementation of a tri-band radio, in my opinion. I've asked O-Chang if they're gonna do a, an updated model to it and they said they didn't have plans to right now maybe that'll change in the future but there are certainly better models of radios out there for tri-band the tyt th350 is a good example of that something that doesn't cost 500 like the kenwood d74 does but is still a good tri-band radio is out there i just don't recommend the eight echo because it had a lot of problems in the, in the beginning but the eight hotel has a whole new look to it and that's and i really love the eight delta so I had high hopes for the 8 Echo, and it just didn't do it. But the 8 Hotel, I don't know. Maybe that's going to be a cool addition to the lineup. Additionally, they have a couple of GMRS radios coming out that I'm going to be reviewing on this channel. So let me know your thoughts below. Do you have any of the UV8 series or the UV9 series? Which one do you have? Why did you pick it? Why do you like it? And what would you like to see in maybe some upcoming models because Ochang seems pretty receptive to feedback. I email with them directly and they send me radios directly and then I point people to like places like RNL and and buy two way radios but um you know they they the Ochang's it it's communicates directly with me and they seem very receptive to feedback that I've gained. I really am liking and still carrying at the time of this recording this UV8 Delta Mate. I take it to my hunting lease. I use it um I have it con connected to to a backpack that I carry around with me as a as a what's called an EDC everyday carry, and I really like this radio. Let me know what you think by putting a comment below, and uh, thanks for watching.